All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're coming to you from the Freedom Studios, and I'm going to be talking in my <laughs> sexy studio voice tonight. Before we get started with the story about Coral Gables, I want to give a big shout out to Joe with the guys over there at Mischief Machine. I'm going to be doing reviews on a couple of his parts. It's a small company, one man operation who's got a dream, and I love helping people like that out. Uh, we've got a couple of other things. Uh, rare breed triggers. I've done a full blown review. That video is over on Rumble. We're going to go ahead and start doing the shooting videos and posting them over there versus on YouTube because I really want to be able to shoot how I want to shoot and not worry about YouTube and all their stuff. So we'll be doing the political stuff over here, doing the shooting stuff over there, but rare breed triggers. Uh, a lot of people said there's, they're having some issues. They're not lying, but there's a guy named Mike Seaman, his YouTube channel. I've got his link over there that shows you how to fix both the trigger reset as well as uh, the issue with the little uh, sear deal and the spring. So anyway, I uh, had a blast with that thing with the CMMG 45 ACP. So anyway, that's a lot of fun. All right, my wife sent me this story. And this is not new, it's kind of old, but I thought it was really interesting and I'd like to share my point of view and what I thought about it. And it all starts off with the Florida court tells Coral Gable cities they can't ban guns. This comes from uh, KMJN now down there and uh, wherever it is they are. Uh, but I'm going to read a couple things. A Florida appeals court last week upheld the NRA backed state law barring local gun regulations. 30 cities, three counties, and more than 70 local officials in 2018 filed lawsuits led by Coral Gables, challenging the Florida's decades old law that bars cities and counties from passing regulations stricter than that of state firearm laws and threatens tough penalties if the city and county officials approve gun regulations. Now, we went through this with Springfield, Illinois up there. The city council just decided to go ahead and uh, ban AR 15s or so called assault rifles or anything that was semi automatic. What happens if you're a long-term member of the uh, <laughs> the neighborhood up there, and all of a sudden the neighborhood commission says, "Well, we just don't, we just don't feel comfortable with people who have firearms and live here." I mean, because you know those people are the ones out there committing the crimes. And then again, this whole thing starts with guys, people who legally buy their firearms nine times nine out of nine 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 percent are not going to be the ones who are committing the crime. If you want to solve this so-called gun violence, go after the people who create gun violence, not the law-abiding citizens. But that's the easy way out. It shows good nature. It shows, hey, listen, we're doing our job. We're protecting you by telling those law-abiding people that they have to give over their guns. It's similar to the conversation we had when it talks about drunk drivers. Oh, according to uh, the law, uh, now that they have drunk drivers, everybody has to turn in their cars. Absolute bullshit. The law lawsuits came in the wake of the shooting at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and a district judge in 2019 ruled that part of that law was unconstitutional, leading to an appeal from an Attorney General Ashley Moody and Governor Ron DeSantis. I like that guy. Seems like a pretty reasonable person. Leon County judges in April 9th rejected arguments that the 2011 law should be rejected because the two legal concepts known as governor fun government function immunity and legislative immunity. What the hell is that? Judge Susan Kelsey, writing for the appellate panel, pointed to the state's superior authority in this context. Here we go. And this is the first time I've read it. This is coming straight from my wife, who, by the way, is an awesome lady. Taken together, Florida's constitution and the statutes limit the counties and municipalities' powers of self-government by requiring consistency with legislatively enacted general and special laws, Kelsey wrote in a 14-page opinion joined by Chief Judge Stephanie Ray and Judge Brad Thomas. As the trial court correctly noted, the appellees, the local governments and the officials, do not dispute the Florida legislature likewise is authorized to enact general laws preempting all regulation in an area of the law. As this case illustrates, the legislature has exercised its preemption authority with respect to firearms and ammunition. It's like mom's the man acting now. Those little whiny assholes, they want to figure, they figure they own the world and they're going to be there. If you notice that every time there's a firearm uh, legislation at the, our Congress level, or our national congressional level, they're always sitting there with their signs and their red shirts. Uh, Kelsey also said the Florida legislature has the authority to abrogate legislative immunity. The National Rifle Association celebrated the ruling. Major NRA court win. Flo 
NRA. Uh, Florida appellate court upholds the preemption statute and says that public officials can be fined for overriding state law and implementing local gun control, the gun rights group said on Twitter. The NRA was instrumental in passing this statute and filed an amicus brief in the case. Okay, so again, you move into a neighborhood, everything's fine and everything's good, and all of a sudden, well, <laughs> they decide, well, we don't like your car. So because we've agreed, it's like a neighborhood association. They can go ahead and say, because your plant is a little bit high, higher than it's supposed to be, we have to remove them all. <sighs> These are people who have nothing better to do, and the logic behind what they are doing is ridiculous. Again, we talk about the drunk driver thing. Because one drunk driver, do we need to remove all cars? Everybody goes, well, cars aren't designed to kill. Well, my guns are designed to provide me with the ability to defend myself and my family. You want to take that away from me, and I don't think that's right. Let's go to Boy 32. You let me know what your thoughts are down below. I haven't done a video in a while. been kind of exhausted trying to come up with some ideas for these things. Dave Wolf, you're up next, buddy. So we're going to go ahead and do a couple tonight, distribute them through the week, have some fun. And again, remember, we're going to be doing the videos where we're shooting and especially the stuff that simulates a fully automatic firearm because, oh my God, we don't want people having all kinds of conniptions on that one. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, get on over to Rumble. I'll put the link down below to that video as soon as it gets uploaded. Hopefully it takes a little longer over there. But anyway, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free because the men and women in uniform, I'm counting on those men and women in uniform to keep those idiots who are in those local gun control factions at their at, <laughs> behind closed doors because they don't belong out in the open. Let's go to Boy32. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am out of here. Y'all be good. Bam.